What's up, you guys? This is Jay Younger 2 back with another video. In this video today, I'm going to briefly be discussing LaMarcus Aldridge and his retirement. Enjoy. Wow, this was some breaking news that just came out recently about LaMarcus Aldridge announcing his retirement. But, you know, he's been having heart issues. Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome is a rare cardiac condition, and he got diagnosed with this during his rookie season. So, it's pretty remarkable that he's still been able to play at such a high level despite having this disease. But LaMarcus Aldridge has definitely had an amazing NBA career. Obviously, most of his career was played in Portland. And, you know, he had a pretty, you know, a decent run for the Blazers. He played alongside Brandon Roy for, you know, the early part of his NBA career. But slowly after Brandon Roy began to suffer more from the injuries and things like that, LaMarcus quickly... You know, he shifted to the team's best player and he became one of the best players at the power four position for his NBA career in the 2010s specifically. He's also one of the most effective mid-range scorers in the NBA, especially during this era as well. And for his career, he shot just about 50% from the mid-range shot. And even though he wasn't as good as a mid-range player as a guy like Dirk Nowitzki, he was definitely still in that conversation as some of the best you know just pure mid-range scores in the NBA what made him even more impressive was the fact that even despite the transitioning of play due to Steph Curry with the rise of three-point shots LaMarcus Aldridge was still an effective player in this era and he ended up developing a, a pretty decent three-point shot in the end of his NBA career anyway but LaMarcus Aldridge is one of 25 players throughout NBA history to have over 19,000 points 8,000 rebounds and he was a seven-time All-Star and a five-time All-NBA player, making second team twice and third team three times. And on StatHead.com, LaMarcus Aldridge is even ranked as the fifth best pure scorer over the last 13 seasons. But, you know, during the, the Mar LaMarcus Aldridge time in the NBA, I feel like personally, he was a pretty underlooked NBA player. But that was too because he played for the Portland Trail Blazers and, you know, He's gonna have his jersey definitely retired one day for the Blazers because he really was an effective player for that organization. You know, especially with him, Brandon Roy, they, you know, they made the playoffs and they had some pretty good runs with those guys. And then when they drafted Damian Lillard, because for a while after Brandon Roy struggled and had to retire due to injury, you know, they drafted Damian Lillard a few years later and Damian Lillard and the Blazers, they went on a pretty good run with that team as well, making it to the playoffs, even making it to the second round at their best. But LaMarcus Aldridge, he ended up going on the San Antonio Spurs, and he had a pretty decent run for the Spurs as well, but you know, a problem for him was, you know, just trying to find a, a key role on that team for his game to really fit in, and he could really truly never find that, that role. And it, even if you remember, he was even demanding a trade at one point, but him and Pop, they sat down and had a conversation, but you know, they could never truly figure it out. And the sad part about that was that was really towards the end of LaMarcus Aldridge's NBA career. But he was definitely key in the 2017 playoff run for the San Antonio Spurs when they made it to the Western Conference Finals. He was arguably the second best player on that team. But once Kawhi was gone and replaced with DeMar DeRozan, this team, they really could never really take another level up from that point on. And, you know, his last really elite season was back in 2018 and he averaged around 21 points per game that year as well but LaMarcus Aldridge has definitely had a pretty good NBA career he definitely has a pretty good chance of making it to the Hall of Fame but the only things that really are holding him back is that he hasn't really had truly deep deep playoff runs like consistently throughout his NBA career like most other great players have had but he still has been a very effective player in the air especially of the 2010s Overall, he was a great player on the offensive end with his post moves, his mid-range shot, and just being a very effective player in those areas. But man, what does this mean, though, for the Brooklyn Nets of this season as well? Because LaMarcus Arwards was definitely a, a pretty, you know, a good piece for this team to acquire. And now that he's gone, what, what happens now for the Brooklyn Nets? Obviously, this team, they're still going to be a really good team regardless. But, you know, he's still going to be a player that had, you know, a pretty good impact for this team who can give them production off the bench. But LaMarcus Aldridge overall had a very good NBA career. He should definitely be in the case of being a Hall of Fame player. 
The guy has had a long career as well. So give him the credit where the credit is due. I hope you guys enjoyed this brief video today. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more basketball content. Have a good day. Peace. Thank <music> you.